Hey everybody, Steve with the Protect the Trust Training Department here, and today I wanted to talk to you about teams. But, in order to talk about teams, you have to talk about all the components that make up teams. See, teams isn't just one thing, it is a combination of many applications from the Office 365 suite. It includes OneDrive, OneDrive. it includes features from Outlook, Outlook. it features the application OneNote, the application One. it has features from Skype, it has features from Planner, it has features from Groups, and it has features from SharePoint. SharePoint. And sometimes it actually just includes the entire application. So before we can talk about what makes up Teams, we're gonna break it down into the many applications that make it up. Did that make sense? We're gonna split it up into several different videos so that we can understand all the components. We're gonna start our series off with groups. When you open up Outlook, you'll notice that you have both your normal inbox, but you also have a group section. And a group is essentially a distribution list, a distribution list that also has file capacity. So if we look here, we can see all the different groups that I'm a part of. We have the marketing weekly meeting, marketing, all company. I also get the functionality of communicating to my group via email. I can do shared calendaring. I have file storage and I have a shared notebook. So let's say we wanted to form a new group and call it the Party Planning Committee. What we see right by it is that we're gonna get a email address and that email address will send messages to all members of the group. We can choose the privacy level, either have everyone in the organization see what's inside our group or make it private, meaning only people who are members of the group can do it. And you can either have this checkbox checked or not checked. And what it will do is either send messages to a member of the group's inbox or it will send it to the group mailbox below. So we have shared storage. So now we don't have to go running around looking in our emails for the one file that we need for the meeting. Everything can be put right here. And also we have a shared notebook that's set up. So if we're in a meeting, we don't have to have one person just taking notes. Everyone can communally take the notes. So join us next week as we take a look at another feature, another application that makes up Teams. Teams can be overwhelming to understand if you look at it as a whole, but once you break it down into what the apps really are, you can slowly start to see that Microsoft is making Teams the hub of Office 365. 